Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So why is PHP Laravel the top PHP framework in 2024 going into 2025? And in fact, I would argue that PHP Laravel is actually one of the most important frameworks in the world today, regardless of languages. And I think it smokes many MVC frameworks out there, whether it be Express, Java Boot, Django and others. So let's jump into it. I'm going to give you the top three reasons why Laravel is the top PHP framework, and then we'll jump into a few other little things here and there. I'd like to give a shout out to my sponsor, PHP Storm. PHP Storm is the powerful PHP IDE from JetBrains. I've been using JetBrains tools since IntelliJ, and PHP Storm has been essential in the development of my Laravel based SaaS Studio Web. Out of the box, PHP Storm is a fantastic IDE for Laravel developers, and with the installed Laravel IDEA plugin, it's even better. PHP Storm's native features gives you Blade Assistance, Laravel completion in the terminal, Laravel log support, and local AI co-completion. With the Laravel IDEA plugin, you also get Laravel code generation, eloquent completion, Laravel navigation, support for packages like Livewire, Inertia, Filament, and others. I'm not the only fan. Just check out the rave reviews online. Explore PHP Storm and see for yourself by visiting the JetBrains website. As a bonus, you get 50% off Laravel IDEA for new users when buying it bundled with PHP Storm. So in a nutshell, number one, the framework itself, it's huge, huge, comprehensive, has all kinds of stuff in there. It has a built-in ARM, eloquent, good templating system, Blade. It's got uh, good session management, authentication built in, RESTful API. It's a very modular framework, so if you want to get your startup up and running very quickly, no problem. If, on the other hand, you're looking for a framework that could scale as your product gets bigger and bigger and bigger, no problem. We've been using PHP Laravel for many years now. We migrated our code igniter app to laravel and when i was making that transition i had any choice i could go with any framework i wanted to express.js on node was my second choice i decided not to go with that because i didn't like npm and i didn't like that whole ecosystem i thought it was too brittle in the js world anyway so uh, we went with laravel because it's it's all there man as they they, they have an expression like to say it's batteries included approach meaning all this stuff is integrated, the ORM, the templating, the testing tools. It even has a streamlined DevOps built in with Forge and on Voyeur. I can never say that properly. So it's pretty cool stuff. So the number two advantage I find is that it has good security and scalability built in. So they ha it has all kinds of security f built into it, encrypted passwords, SQL injection prevention, as I said, the framework is modular, so that makes it uh, easy, more easily scaled and uh, adapted to whatever traffic load you may have. So that's a big advantage. The third advantage, of course, is its community and documentation. So Laravel has a big community and it has great documentation. This is something I've been talking about for years. When you're looking at any product, any service, you want to make sure that you got your documentation there, you got your support there. You want to have a community behind whatever, whatever framework you're going to be leveraging to bring an app to market. The worst thing you can do as a professional is find yourself on some niche island technology where you have no support, no community. It doesn't get updated. That's a bad thing. <laughs> you don't want to be there. I've been there. Trust me, it's not good. So the third thing that makes Laravel, I believe, the top choice not just for PHP, I think in PHP it's clear it's a top framework in my opinion, but I think even across the board, it's really a super strong contender. I would argue it's a top choice. It was my top choice in terms of framework. That last element, that community, that active community, the great documentation. With the community, you have a lot of people contributing to the ecosystem in terms of packages and add-ons. So if you're looking to get something done, Laravel is a very, very good choice. Besides the core Laravel framework, you also have this community where you have these all this, all these other people contributing to the Laravel ecosystem. Just to wrap a few things up, so Laravel was created in 2011 by a guy named Taylor Otwell, and his influence 
in terms of creating Laravel were based on number one, CodeIgniter, which was the predominant framework of the time, the PHP framework at the time. We used it as well, but it had some things lacking. It was pretty good for its time, but you know, there were some shortcomings. So he looked at that. He also looked at Ruby on Rails. Ruby on Rails, though I make fun of Rails all the time in Ruby, it actually had some really good things going for it. It had a huge impact, Ruby did, and Rails, Ruby on Rails specific really, really had a huge impact in terms of the web development community. For example, the syntax, the type of expressive syntax Rails has, they brought that into Laravel, uh, convention over configuration philosophy, uh, built-in ORMs. So Laravel's ORM, the eloquent ORM, is based on or inspired from uh, Rails active record. So anyway, he took the best set of Rails, took the best set of Codinator, understood the limitations of Codinator and Rails, and he also took some core components from the Symfony framework, the other big framework in the PHP world, and I believe he actually extracted actual modules out of Symfony because Symfony was open source. He brought that all, brought that in, put it all together, and he came out with uh, PHP Laravel, which uh, for the reasons I just cited, those top three reasons why I think it is the top PHP framework, and I highly recommend it. I use it myself. Just as an aside, it's always good to compare and contrast technologies. So one of the things I did when I was moving my Studio Web app from CodeIgniter, I was looking at doing a rewrite from scratch. It was getting pretty old. We are having issues in terms of server load and uh, updates. It was kind of brittle. Anyhow, so I looked at a bunch of things. So I looked at Node and Express.js. I looked at Python, Django. I didn't look at Flask as another framework in the Python world, but I looked at Django. Uh, we looked up a Spring, Java Spring. Looked at that for about two seconds and left running and screaming. And ASP.NET Core, that's C-sharp based. The reason I didn't go for Spring Boot or ASP.NET because those tools, those frameworks are really for enterprise, big environments, big projects, you know? And I would not build anything new, my advice, don't build anything new based on top of uh, Spring Boot or ASP.NET Core. Not because they're bad technologies per se, it's just that they're slow to develop in compared to Express and PHP Laravel or Python Django. They're just slow to develop in. So if you're looking at Spring, Java, Spring Boot, Java, or ASP.NET Core, you're looking at enterprise, big organizations, maintaining apps. If you want to get light and nimble, you're doing a startup, I would definitely look at PHP Laravel first. Then second to that, maybe Express and Node. That's just my choice. So to wrap this up, I do believe that PHP Laravel is the best server-side PHP framework in the world today. And I would venture a guess it's probably for many projects the best web framework there is today. I highly recommend it, especially if you're looking at setting up a startup or uh, and you and you want something that's stable and has all the advantages I just discussed, uh, easy to work with, easy to, uh, pleasure to work with, easy to get up and running with, I would definitely take, check out PHP Laravel. Thanks for watching the video. If you do like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me two thumbs down. Show, show me how much you hate my videos. Feel free to comment below whether you agree or disagree. And um, if you don't like my hat, give me two thumbs down. If you like my hat, give me a thumbs up. All right, I hope you found this video useful. Cheers.